so that you're not wondering exactly what we're talking about today, I'd like to talk about the death mechanic in Daggerheart. Hey there, it's DMs Off. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you know when we upload new videos. So Matt Mercer and company are in the final stages of creating a fully fleshed out TTRPG called Daggerheart. It'll more than likely rival Pathfinder, but it may actually have the potential to rival D&D as well. Only time will tell. Every once in a while, there's a TTRPG that comes out and there's mechanics in it, actual rules that seem to transcend. Like, if you don't have this one thing, you probably should. For me, the advantage and disadvantage rule from D&D 5e is one of these rules. They weren't the first to come up with it. It's been in dice pool games forever, but it's one of those things that seem to transcend and people looked at it and they were like, we're going to add this into our game. And now you see it everywhere. Or even luck mechanics that allow re-rolls, which I saw for the first time in 1990 with Torg role-playing the Possibility Wars. These are just a few examples of game mechanics that seem to be a part of the hive mind that totally transcend the TTRPG community at large. Much like having the strength ability score seen in about 95% of all TTRPGs ever. Then comes along the dagger heart death mechanic. This verbiage comes from comic book gaming. There's a link down in the dungeon. Finally, we should mention the death mechanic of Daggerheart, which is a lot more meaningful than what we've seen in games like Dungeons & Dragons. When a player runs out of hit points, they have three options. They can choose to die in a blaze of glory with an automatic critical success on their final action. They can choose to become scarred and permanently remove one of their hope slots to recover, or they can risk it all by rolling their hope and fear dice and letting the dice determine their fate. If the hope dice is higher, their character recovers, but if the fear dice is higher, they die. Stark mentioned that there's only one resurrection spell in Daggerheart. That is a one-off ability, so it seems death will have a higher impact and stakes than in other TTRPG games. The thing that sticks out to me is that once you reach zero hit points, you have the option of dying and going out with a critical success. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> there was something similar to this in Torg, role-playing the Possibility Wars. They have a card you can play. No, the game itself is not a card game, but they had a drama deck. And this card that was in your hand, you could play it if you had it. Here's the card. Subplot. You may defeat any opponent at the cost of your own life. Definitely has this vibe right here. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay, so Dagger Heart's not out until next year, and you want to use this now. I know I'm going to be putting it into my games, so let's homebrew it for D&D. Option 1, the auto crit death. It's perfect. It gives total agency to the player about how they're going to die. Auto crit and die fucking epic. Option two, become scarred in some way, probably related to the thing that dropped you to zero hit points. Now, you have this option to reduce your constitution by D4 and let the modifiers apply to your hit points overall. You're scarred. You can even explain this in some awesome radical way. Option number three, leave it up to the gods. Make an opposed roll. The player rolls one D20. That becomes the target number. Meet it, or beat it. The player now rolls a second die. If they meet or beat the number, they live. They got one hit point. If it's under, they're dead. Now we just gotta get rid of Revivify and anything else that can just pop a character back up. But that's another video. Now for option three, I wouldn't have the dungeon master roll that opposed roll because it would feel like, especially if they lost, that the DM did it to them. So have the player actually roll one die, that's the target number, and then they have to meet it or beat it. It's their character after all. Oh, by the way, there's no modifiers on that roll. I could see that this could become a little ping-pongy or whack-a-mole-ish where they just still keep popping back up, but nowhere near as much as death saves. And especially if you have a player that's kind of done with their character. They've ran their arc or whatever, and they just want to kind of play something else. You give them an out, especially with the auto crit death option. And with the scarred deal with that option too, 
eventually their constitution's going to get so low that they're going to kind of become unplayable. And if you pick option three, it's not going to be long before they fail that role. Okay, there you have it. Use it or don't. I don't care. But as for me, I'm going to homebrew it right into my game. All right, thanks for stopping by Agronax Studios, and we'll see you on the next one. Later. This video is brought to you by the generous support of our patrons. Consider becoming a patron. There's a link down in the dungeon. Down there. Also, we have links to other places that Agronax Studios is at. All right, do this and do that and do this and do that. And watch this video.